Welcome back to RimWorld and uh, as I said last time we are starting to get the most central issues ready uh, beer production and uh, other things are chugging along quite nicely as well uh, people are getting their new rooms and uh, we haven't had any trouble so far with the moods let's have a look at the social interactions here uh, Walter hates everyone except not Leffa so much they have that sort of psych history going on together. Leffa uh, likes Maunu and uh, after Ansu uh, beat him up a little bit, uh, suddenly doesn't care too much, uh, isn't too, doesn't mind too much about that. Uh, doesn't like Sele or... Maunu likes everyone except Ansu. Ansu likes Sele and Walter and really can't stand Leffa. That's a shame. And uh, what have we? Sele. Sele is, is, is cool. Sele likes everyone except uh, for uh, Walter a little bit. Well, let's uh, let's hope that that people still are uh, stay mostly happy. Mood seems to be quite good. 63%. Left us up there in the same things. Uh, most of the things I hear are, are on the positive side, so I think we've managed so far to actually keep people quite happy. I think this must mean no one has yet noticed that we have run out of beer. So, that's great. I'm actually gonna have the mine out a little bit more here, because I want this room to be four wide. And after that we will build... Um, how much steel do we have? I think we have more steel lying around here somewhere. Uh, I thought I saw drop pods or something come down with it a while back. But anyway, I'm actually going to put steel walls around these uh, cargo pods. Cargo pods. Oh, meat. Dromedary meat. Okay, good. That means Ansu doesn't have to hunt, or doesn't get to hunt for a little while since we have that. I think we have enough steel to make steel walls around these. Uh, uh, this what, what's what's going to be sort of like a a battery that doesn't that don't work now it's only three wide so let's uh, cancel all of that and dig out even more out of there like so then we can have one that's four wide Leffa is doing great work with. Uh, Let's put another lamp down here for reasons of actually using up power because, like I said, we're risking this overcharge thing above all because of uh, because of uh, Lefa. What's wrong? Don't you don't have bed? I didn't give you a bed, and now a raid's coming. Oh dear! Oh dear! All right, raid. What's going on? A group of tribes people. So tribes people won't have guns and stuff. They have. Uh, other kinds of deadly weapons. From Orange Flamingo Branya have arrived nearby. They're attacking immediately. Where are they? Two people. Now that uh, this doesn't, this wouldn't otherwise be too bad, but those great bows are uh, second only to sniper rifles when it comes to range in this game. So this means that we'll have to be a bit sneaky in how we deal with them. Where are they coming from anyway? They're Okay, they're, they're way up here. And uh, it's going to take a little while for them to get down, but once they do, they'll have they'll have range advantage on us. So that means I'll want to be actually up and waiting for them when they arrive. Okay, they're about that far away. We're about this far away. Sorry about that, Lef. I didn't mean to not give you a room. Actually, probably need to... Um, dig out some more space again. I mean, you know, that's 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 the way we've been doing dealing with these things. Actually, all of you guys, uh, where's Walter? Okay, uh, let's let Mauna sleep this one through for now, and see if we can get. Let's get you guys up there for now. Walter, you're drafted. Get up here, and let's see how how we can deal with this threat. Sorry to wake you up, Selenatsu, but, you know, there are people trying to kill us. So, I hope you don't mind getting up for that reason. Okay. They're over there. 
Now if I just pop people into heavy cover uh, over here, then we can pop out and flank them when they try to arrive. We can eliminate this range bonus they get with their great bows. And uh, it takes a while to get there. Okay, good, good. Now, of course, they'll have sort of like a, an understanding of where we are there. Okay, Walter. Pop your head out, Ansu. You can... Uh, Walter, actually go over there. Ansu, you have armor anyway, so... Okay. There. Go, go, go. Sela, don't let him... Uh, don't let him get away. Okay. Who are you going for anyway? Okay, are you going back down there? Let's see if we can send uh, we'll send Walter down there to chase this guy down. Uh, what is he going to do? Okay, Mauno. Mauno. You're drafted. Get on up here, meet this threat. Walter, follow that man. You guys take him out. What are you doing? Aha! They're fleeing! Aha! Well! <laughs> now, Menino, what you're trying to do is you're trying to flee past Walter, the psycho chef. And uh, what will follow now is a, a lesson to people in what happens when you try to flee past Walter, the psycho chef. Observe. Uh, one shot, two shot. Are you playing with him? Come on, Walter. Oh, he's flying that way. Guys, cut off his escape. I actually thought we were gonna get him. Come on now. Yeah, actually, you guys can um, take shots. Take shots. Come on. Take him out. Come on, Ansu. Oh, Walter. I made such a big deal about you. Failed miserably. Oh well, at least no one... Uh, at least no one got killed, aside from the bad guys. Uh, you know what? Mauno is actually going to come up here and equip this thing, because, you know... Just because he was the best at using a knife, didn't actually mean he knew how to use a knife, so... Let's, uh, let's get him to get that great bone. That's a super good range weapon. So it's uh, going to help out a lot in that respect. Now, we need a bed for Leffa quite urgently. It's, uh, it's not right to have him. After all he's been through. Uh, her. Him? Her? What are you? Uh, him. Uh, after all he's been through, it's not right to have him just lie on the floor like that. It's just, it's just not nice. It's not called for. So, let's see where... Walter's making some fine meals. Now, finally, we can get this uh, this structure done here. We put the steel wall down. A steel door. What we need to have in here now is a switch, a power switch, and then. Uh, this and uh, we can sort of make like that, and then we'll make some batteries right here. And these will be our backup batteries. Uh, we can fill them up, then turn off the switch so that they don't uh, fit into the main power grid. And uh, I don't know, uh, I don't exactly know yet how we're best going to use those. And this dumping zone is full, so let's expand that. Did we... Oh, we don't have any graves. We do not have any graves. Eclipse? No. And a megatherium. A wana harla wata. A big old sloth. I could slaughter this and we'd have meat for days. Or I could have a pet, a megatherium. Let's have a look at what these things are. So a type of ground sloth. Megatheria are giant solitary herbivores. Long extinct after being wiped out by the natives of Earth's America content, the ground sloth was later brought back using advanced cloning and artificial gestators. Eating speed. Trainable intelligence advanced. That means I can have it. We can have a battle megatherium. Okay. 
uh, we need to start growing hay for our new friend, Mr. Megatherium. And we need to place, place an area for him. Of course we're training this Megatherium. Let's have a look at him. Uh, the Timberwolf has been trained. I did not even notice that. Let's train him to do all the good stuff. Mauno is uh, Isel's master. That's fine. Is there anyone who's sad about that? Is there anyone who'd, who'd rather... Oh, Ansu. You're feeling sad about that? Well, let's not make him sad. Let's let's give Mauno... Let's give uh, this to Ansu. Because he's bonded with Ansu. And let's start training the Megatherium. And uh, because we have a Megatherium, we also need... Gonna expand our growing zone and start planting some hay. Let's make some hay. And I want to have sort of an, uh, an, an. Let's put a. Let's make an animal area here. Actually, uh, animal area. And. Uh, the Megatherium for now. We're, we're gonna make a place for it to sleep and everything like that soon. For now I don't wanna let the Megatherium roam around here. It can actually, you know, eat of our crops. I'm gonna be allowing it to do that. But by the time winter comes I want to have it a little place for it. So anima, uh, Megatherium, you get to be an animal one. Ezel, as a pet pig you can go wherever you like. Our Timberwolf, which is named Marilyn, is uh, how's she doing anyway? Health, no injuries, no relationships, free as a bird. But I had not even noticed that that was happening. But then we have this: one of the moons of this planet has orbited in front of the sun. An eclipse has begun, and isn't that fun? Um, good thing we got a wind power plant up and running. We might need more now, but uh, that means that our solar plant panels are, of course, completely useless, and our people will grow in darkness, and our crops will not grow because of the eclipse. Let's hope it's a short eclipse, because otherwise badness will happen. Let's uh, put down a couple more graves. I'm gonna make this graveyard actually a little bit nicer in a, in a future episode. Because uh, we can have a nice little park of the dead. So... Uh, I'm sorry about the noise in the background, the children are playing around. They can play, of course, but if they could be just a little bit quieter, that would be really nice. Okay, yes. Uh, so, remember how I said back early, back in the day about the, the, the bodies and the, the dumping ground? Well, now you know. There it is. Um, here's our massive sloth. Oh, it, it, oh, we need to give it a bed. And... Uh, it's going to be funny because it's going to actually fit in one of these probably because this is the way the this is the way the game works but we don't have enough we need 45 do we have 45 of any kind of cloth or skin or something no okay sloth you can sleep forever for now yeah, no 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 wait 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 uh, where do we want the sloth to sleep oh i really want to make a little little place for it already um we can make a little area right here and this can be the sloth's home a little wooden door and what we'll do is we'll place an animal sleeping spot right here oh but s chances are one of the other animals will claim it I wonder if I can uh, I wonder if I can uh, uh, sort of Set it to some particular animal. Wait, what? Uh, is the eclipse over already? A solar flare has begun. The intense radiation will shut down all electrical devices. It should pass in about a day. Gotcha. Okay. Well, so now there's a solar flare. Just now there was an eclipse, now there's a solar flare. The result of that is anyway the same. Our electronics do not work. Okay. Is this switch is it on or off? It's on right now. Is the power connected here? Power's connected. So once we actually get power, we'll get things back working. The solar flare is currently 
making sure that all our devices don't work, but our batteries, I think, work. They... No, they don't seem to work. Nothing electronic seems to work. Mm, we have Ansu working on research. Let's put some flower pots in people's rooms, because why not? Oh, I know why not. Let's make... Did I put steel? Alright, uh, cancel, cancel. I gave you a steel pot. Oh, that's just too good. Um, wooden plant pot is all we need, really. A plant pot here, and a plant pot there for the medic, and then one beside those bits as well. And soon I'll go in and fix. Could actually um, add up on. Uh, Make 40 of those and make 15 fine meals. Uh, beavers! Oh no no no! A group of hungry alpha beavers have just arrived. Try to eliminate them before they decimate every last tree in the region. And they really will. Uh, right. Here they are. Okay. We'll, we'll send out a task force for this. Uh, wow, what do you... You got a bow these days? All of you guys, I know, sorry for uh, waking you up. Hey, what? Five? Lefa, Lefa, go back to sleep. Just go back to sleep, Lefa, this does not concern you. We are just going to go outside. There's not going to be anything violent happening. Well, maybe just a little something violent, like a full-on slaughter of beavers. Because otherwise they will do things. Let's go over here so we don't get shot. Alright, fire. Fire. There. Sorry, starting the wrong language there. They're eating our trees. They're eating our trees. Alright, that one too. Help them out. Alright, threat neutralized. And that actually may seem uncalled for, but uh, having a bunch of beavers eat your trees, and as you see, we use trees quite a lot. And then, well, you might say, well, there's plenty of trees in the forest. There are now, but these guys would sort of uh, go through them at a very, very rapid pace. Who are you? Timberwolf male? Hold on now. Timberwolf female? I think we all know what we must do. Tame that thing. Oh, cargo pot as well. Well. What is this? Insect jelly? What is insect jelly? Jelly stored and used as food by oversized insects. It's smooth, rich and brings joy to those who consume it. Because of its unique biological properties... <gasps> it can nourish almost any creature and never rots. Food of the gods. Fantastic. Wait, what was that? Here we have Megatherium 1, who's a female. Okay, okay, I know this is starting to turn into a zoo and this is supposed to be a... A choir playthrough, but then again, you know, zoos and choirs have have a lot in common. They do. Somehow. You figured that out. Let's get some components, because I just found them. Before I forget, they're there. Alright, Slothy McSlothson's over there. How is our training of animals going, by the way? Mm, this, uh, well, they've started it, so that's about all you can ask for, really. Okay, um, as far as the next room, I think what we want to do is deconstruct this and start mining out a wee little area over here. Um, and then we will see what, what that turns into. 
once we are at that point in the game. Um, so, well, that uh, that was exciting. Well, we had uh, we had a raid. We had an attack of alpha beavers. Uh, they are now dead. No one's picking them up, and uh, I need more people to haul. And they are not doing it. Lefa, what's going on? Are, are we are we so busy doing other things? Do we need uh, to have a dedicated hauler? I think what we have to do here now is that we have to put Mauno. <laughs> if we want anything done, relationship. What does her? There are a group. There are people who have relationship with your colonists or prisoners in the arriving group. Uh. So, Maunus mother, a uh, Maunus and Sela's mother, are in this in this group coming. Villager Inga is their mother, and Lefa's brother Fernand. Well, at this dramatic junction, I think we'll have to call it call a break. Mum is coming to visit. I will see how that works out in the next episode. I hope you like this. And uh, I hope you'll come back for the family reuniting. We'll probably just trade some stuff and, and, uh, and exchange some pleasantries and then they'll be gone again. But who knows? Who knows? Family visits. Things are heating up in RimWorld. See you next time. Thanks for watching and take care.